No matter what directions music has taken since literally the beginning of recorded music history, people have shot down or at least attempted to shoot down any new thing, any changing thing. And they usually do it on the basis, well, there's been a couple ones. There's been the uh, that's not holy argument. And then there's the this is just trash or this has no musical value, or this is somehow not as good as the music that I like and the music that I grew up with. It's a common problem. It's one that we're all familiar with. Generally, people just don't like the new thing because we're not that great at change. But my point in this video is not to talk about what exactly is happening there and why people don't like the new thing because I feel like that's pretty well documented. My objective here is to make an argument for why people should just shut the f up about it. Album of the year? More like joke of the year. I'm happy for her, but I think this is a mistake. Her song Bad Guy I liked, but that's about it. She is not a really great singer. Didn't deserve it. I thought the song was horrible. This music is ridiculous. Look, nobody's saying, hey Joe. Watch this, this is the pet, this is the pet demand. Ready? Sorry, I stopped, I didn't mean to. Nobody's saying that you have to like any kind of music. I mean, I could write a laundry list of genres that just, for whatever reason, don't resonate with me. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with not liking a particular artist or not liking a particular genre. Why are you making noise? People are fully entitled to their opinions and there's nothing wrong with that. The part that I take issue with is that people are so pumped to try to completely invalidate whatever it is musically that they don't like. In particular, this concept that the direction that music goes all the time and it's constantly changing and, and that somehow the stuff that's happening now is, is not as good. There's this idea that because somebody doesn't like it, that somehow it doesn't have any value. <laughs> Like, it's so ridiculous. What a joke the Grammys have become. Absolutely the worst Grammys in history. The last Grammys we watch, canceled. Well, I guess they're giving Grammys away to people with no talent now. Music just isn't what it used to be. And this is something that is particularly close to me because I had to learn this. I got interested in jazz probably when I was like 11 or 12 and I actually started taking lessons with a jazz teacher at like, I think it was 13. And then something really not great happened sort of as a result. I got it in my head that modern music was somehow not good and that what I was learning about was was just intrinsically better and more valuable. And I kind of became like an elitist prick about the whole thing. There were so many factors. I mean, I went to such a tiny, tiny school where there was like 500-ish kids from pre-K through 12. Myself and, and one of my good friends actually who plays guitar, we were the only kids in the entire school that even did music with any seriousness outside of school. We barely had enough kids to scrape together a band. I'm talking like there were, there were maybe 20 of us or 25 of us. When I, by chance, got into jazz and started studying it, I all of a sudden had this brand new thing that I was so excited about that I wanted other people to share my excitement with, but obviously like no one cared because <laughs> it wasn't a very popular thing. Nobody knew what jazz was and nobody really cared. And that became really frustrating to me and as a result, I kind of like slipped into this thing where I just wanted to like invalidate any styles of music that other people liked and try to justify why what I knew about was better. That's a horrible outlook to have. It took me a long time to understand the different values that music can have. The first big realization I had was that complexity did not equal quality. Just because there's more chords, more notes, maybe there's a higher level of difficulty, that doesn't make it inherently better than the other things around it. Music is so much more than notes and chords. What I had to realize was that there are so many other things besides the notes, the chords, and, and even the lyrics that, that make music impact people in a certain way. And that is the key word, impact. Music matters insofar as it has an impact on people's lives. If it makes you feel something, or it elicits some sort of emotional response, something that you needed, or something that you wanted to feel, that should be the only thing we care about. Whether that's groove, whether it makes you dance, or whether it tells a story that, 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 that you can just relate with and that can really resonate with you. Those are the things about music that matter. And what's so frustrating to me, being somebody that kind of went through a phase where I was that sort of like elitist kind of person where I didn't understand that and I, I didn't want to understand that. I wanted people to know about the stuff that I liked. Kind of like people don't want to like the new stuff, they want everybody to like what they like. It's this frustration maybe that people aren't as aware of the things that we're aware of. 
even amongst artists currently that you know they people get upset that Billie Eilish won so many categories it's like they, it, why because they wanted the person that they like to win maybe they don't like Billie Eilish's music maybe they were really really upset that that you know somebody else didn't take those categories and it's just like okay that's fine you're totally entitled to like whatever kind of music that you like and I'm sure you've got a ton of great reasons why you resonate so much with any particular artist but there is so much value I feel in the cultural phenomenon of music take K-pop for example. That's a genre that I don't know anything about. Honestly, I don't even really know if I like it or not. I've never really checked it out. I've checked out a few things that musically just didn't really resonate with me. It didn't do much for me. But the cultural impact that K-pop has had is astounding. I mean, you want to talk about a dedicated fan base. Good lord. And you know what? That's cool. It doesn't have to resonate with me. It resonates with so many people who get something out of it, whether they love the music itself, whether they love the, the, the actual personalities, the bands, all of that kind of lumps into this stuff. And it's, and it's all like, why are we trying to tear that down? Like, why do we care? Why, why are we actively trying to say that something isn't good because, oh, I don't personally like it. So I'm just going to say that it's, oh, this is the worst Grammys ever. What? This reaction comes out every single year that the Grammys happen. And listen, the Grammys have their issues. It's insane to think that we could give out a single award for the best album or the best, you know, artist. It's like, that's an absolutely insane thing to think that we could even possibly do that. That we could somehow quantify the impact of music beyond plays and downloads and record sales. There is so much else to be considered. And the fact that we have an award show that tries to dump it all into one thing, that doesn't make any sense. So yeah, the Grammys aren't perfect, but my point is this, not liking certain types of music or certain artists is totally okay, but we should celebrate the fact that even music that maybe we don't personally resonate with has such an impact on so many people in the world. That's awesome. That's what music is supposed to do. Old me would have jumped into these conversations and tried to point out why the lack of chord changes, or the lack of groove, or the fact that it's all computer programmed drums and it doesn't have a human component, all that stuff somehow devalues this music that is so popular. But the fact is, if I stuck to that, I would always be on the losing side. I mean, if you put it into more analytical terms, you could say the market is the market. Like, people are going to decide what they like. No matter how much you think that music has gone down the tube since your favorite band was in its heyday, well, guess what? When your favorite band was in its heyday, there was a whole generation of people who thought that that sucked, who thought that that was ridiculous, who thought that that had no value, and they were wrong. It goes so much further than just what we personally like. Do you know, do you know what happens when you let go of this idea that somehow a certain type of music is superior to any other type of music? You find a ton of cool stuff. I can't even explain how much my enjoyment of music has gone up since I stopped clinging to this idea that somehow what I liked was better in intrinsically than what everybody else liked. It's such a stupid way to think. Anyways, congratulations to all of the people who won last night. Congrats to Billie Eilish for exploding onto the scene and, and just and killing it. And I would urge everyone, go check out music from a genre that you have always in your mind gone, I don't like this. Whether it's I don't like jazz or I don't like opera or I don't like rap or hip hop or whatever it is. Check out some music from a genre that you think you don't like. And you know what? You might listen to it and be like, yeah, no, it does nothing for me. That's totally okay. But maybe you might hear something and go, oh, I didn't know that's what this was all about. And that is how you unlock a whole new world of music. It's worth a listen. And you know what? Let's do this. In the comments, put a link to one of your favorite songs from one of your favorite artists. It doesn't matter if they're super popular or if nobody knows about them. Because I'll bet that if you go and scroll through the comments and just check out some of what people are talking about, you're probably going to find some stuff that you've never heard before that you might be really interested in. I'll tell you what, my pinned comment will be something that, that has been an influence on me in one way or another. Listen to it, reply, talk about it. This is the fun part about music is we get to check out all kinds of different things. I can't tell you how many times me and my friends have driven down the road in the car and put on something and we just like are screaming for one reason or another. It could just be a, a, a tiny little part that we're like listening to over and over again. But that is like the most fun thing that you can possibly do when it comes to music. Find something that blows your mind every time.
I'm gonna try to go into the comments and check out as much as I can of what you guys post and, uh, and give my thoughts on it. So anyways, thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.